So welcome to JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Cornerstone Boxing Academy. With me now, I've got Luke, the sugar-free boxer, and end of the EFB man. Here we are for another one. Um, mm-hmm. Dalton Smith versus Casey Benjamin. But before we get into it, have some of this. Have it. So, Smith, 12 fights, 12 wins, 10 knockouts. Benjamin, 18 fights, 16 wins, one draw, six knockouts. On paper, a very good fight. Luke loves it when I say that. On paper, it's a great fight. Um, British super lightweight title. We love a good British title fight. 12th of November, Manchester Arena. On the card of Jonas Decare. Another great fight added to the card, to be honest. Um, Like we always say, British title fight. Always great scraps. You never know what you're going to get. And it's always a a title that people love to fight for. Um, Apparently, I've got to go first. Ender made that quite clear before we came on. Well, we've all gone... Well, I went first first. It's bullying going on. It's not bullying. Um, It's called equality and fairness. (laughs) Said like a true referee. yeah, do you know what? I've I've thought about this several times because did it hurt? Benjamin is no mug at all. No, no mug at all. Um, but is he going to beat Dalton Smith? Dalton Smith's on a roll, to be fair. Um, and he is a quality fighter, great boxer, not afraid to stand there and have a good trade as well, though. Um, for me. I'm just hoping for a great fight, but I think Dalton wins it by stoppage. When? No, oh, blimey. 12th of November. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Ba-boom! <laughs> Moving on to Luke. Luke? No, no. Back to you. What round? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to put it out there between six and nine. Okay. Nearer to nine. So probably nine. <laughs> nearer to nine. Nine. <laughs> you couldn't get fucking like, nearer to I, nine. I had someone on the other day and they went, look, I'm going to go for between six and eight. Call it seven. <laughs> yeah, but that's fair enough. Like, because well, normally yeah, when you... Yeah, we'll go with the that. one in between. Normally when you go six to nine, you might come up with seven or eight. Yeah, but you go exactly. to the extremity of nine after saying between <laughs> six and nine. That's just interesting. Anyway, Luke, what have you got? Yeah, look, um, this is a British title fight, but... You look so casual, Luke. Certainly not so British casual. Level, and that's Dalton. Ah, uh, look, I do this in my sleep, Joel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Do- oh, oh, Luke, I've missed you, mate. I've missed Dalton you so much. Is not... Um, British level, he's much better. Um, I think he's one of the finest talents that the UK has at the moment. Um, who isn't fighting at world level yet, and I believe he will be within eighteen months' time. Um, I think he's going to stop Benjamin. Um, I think it's going to be probably around seven. I'm not just saying that now because you're on about in between it six and eight, but um, no, it's six and I, nine because he went nine. I do think it'll be seven. Okay, cool. End up on, on your 12th turn. November. Well, I mean, this is all pointing to what End is going to say. Like, I mean, you said nine, you said seven. Well, End, what am I going End to has say? had a chance to think now, so. No, but it feels like you're leading me into round eight. Oh, here we go. We're leading him, Luke. We're leading you've six, him. You've nine, seven, End sorry. You seven, you've nine. End Jesus Christ. Why two J has gone for round three? Y2J has gone for Smith round. Uh, do you know what? Could be. It really, it really could. Like, That's like not. Luke was saying, Dalton Smith is is an excellent talent, an excellent prospect, and I can see him going in there and and getting the stoppage win because yeah. of his, you know, just the levels that are there. Uh, you guys are going six to nine, and I understand that, and that makes perfect sense to me. So I actually think I am going to just 
nestle in between you there and slot in at round eight and be perfectly content with that. I told you, didn't I, Luke? So I went first, you went second, and then Ender jumps in the middle. What can you do? I and then went... to be fair, to be uh, fair, Y2J guy has gone round three, so you yeah, did have the option of the rest of the board there as well. Was Joel. What? I missed that. What'd you say, Luke? I said Ender's a lucky man to be in between the two of us, Joel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Counting me blessings every day. <laughs> <laughs> Sam has put... <laughs> Sam has put... Come on, Case, my bro. I've had him on my channel, but I'm nervous for this. I saw what Dalton did to my mate Sam O'Mason. And to be yeah. fair, Sam O'Mason was game for that fight. But yeah. as you say, just, it's, just it's, levels. It's just it's levels. levels we're talking about <laughs> here. He's he's defending his British title, but he's not British level. He's well above it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, let us know in the comments if you disagree. So effectively, with us. we have had the same result three times. Yeah, but as I say, let us know in the comments. Six it, to it, nine, it, round six to nine, round six to nine. You know, yeah. It, it, is there anyone out there that thinks Casey Benjamin does stand a chance? Um, I just, as I say. These fights are always great fights. British title fights, they always seem to bring the best out in people. And mm. like Luke said, the British title is is something special for people to hold. And um, mm. once you get hold of it, it's not a belt you want to lose. Like we saw with Denzel Bentley, came back and it, and he got the job done in, in you know, mm. in style. I think it was against um, Linus, wasn't it? Linus. Udolfia. Or Defia. Yeah. Or Dorfia. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. I was at yeah. it. That was in... Coventry, and it was an absolute cracking scrap. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. I see it. Sam. Yeah. Sam as 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 trying to be as as loyal as he can to his mate. He's gone split yeah. decision for Dalton. But, well, yeah, uh, like we say, it, we've seen him continue. That's a win for him. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments. Chuck it below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And lads, thank you very much once again. We've got some other prediction shows coming up in the next few weeks. There's loads of stuff and, uh, and, and you know, other predictions and fights that have been announced recently. Just, yeah, check out the rest of the channel. Head over to Ender's channel as well. Some great stuff happening on over there. Ender, let us know. Give yeah, us a this shout is out. Another, yours. This, is another this is another brainchild of uh, Luke's. This time we're doing the... Uh, the we're sticking with the original eight divisions again because it's it was such a success but we're going for the best boxer in each of those divisions over the last 40 years so from 1972 to 1922 so the best boxer from each of the original eight divisions and uh, the boys are giving all their um detailed uh kind of um learned opinion on that and then i'll be chiming in with somebody random just to annoy them <laughs> cool just before we go, straight talker, Dalton Smith, all day. Well, there well, that you go. Is straight talker. I mean, straight talker by name, straight talker by nature. And on that note, thank you very much for joining us, everyone. Thanks for your comments, and we'll see you all soon. Have Take care. Days.